Hello? Good evening? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Oh. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. Thank you for asking. Great. Good. How was your day today? Um, I'm very underneath. Uh, how, was, how was your day? Ah, uh, it's good, very productive. Productive? Yes, productive. productive. Wow. wow, that's awesome. I imagine, okay. oh, it was, it was uh, fun. It was fun. I, I bought some, uh, some things. I went, I had to go out and I drove all the way from uh, Mexicanos to Soyapango, then back to back to Merliot, so a very a very busy morning, a lot of driving, yes. The street is very um, traffic. It's very crowded, yeah, it's very crowded. The streets are very crowded because uh, I see a lot of people in there. I scare when yes. I I hear very very much people. <laughs> you you really you don't like to see many people outside? Yes, the the people no no feel I no feel scared. No, nah, they they think that everything is okay. They think everything is okay, and and, uh, and that you know it, it's that it's over. That the virus isn't around anymore, but I think it still is. But it's not as dangerous as it was in the past. The virus is still around, but I think people can handle it now. Me, I I do home office. Really, all years. Yes, I don't come back the office. You haven't come, and you're not gonna come back. You. They're not. They're not. Can you come back? You're not. Uh, okay, so they they don't want you to go back. Ah, uh, they don't want. Uh -huh. Yeah, good. Okay. Well, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, talk, great. Right? Yeah. Thank all right, you. guys. Uh, welcome. Thanks for uh, thanks for being on time. It's uh, good to have you. How are you feeling today? How are I'm you good. doing? Fine. All right. Great. Great. What about you, Omar? How are you doing? Are you feeling better? Today? I feel good. Yes, it's better than the, my health is better. Thank you, teacher. Uh, I I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. So it was it was only a backache, right? Yeah, my backache is is finished yet. It's over. Yeah, thank God. It's over. Did you have to take a pill or or it just went away? It just uh, massage. Uh, a message. Massage. Uh, message. Message. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. It's better than a pill. A message is better yeah. than a pill. Definitely. Because yeah. it's more direct. Yeah. It's better. So if you take like uh, too many pills for years and years later, uh, you have you have trouble. It's not bad for the heart. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. It's a natural solution. Yeah. Very good. So, uh, guys, thank you for being on time today. Uh, we will work today on uh, something uh, a little different, and uh, we'll work on uh, product. Uh, we'll work on uh, analyzing cost of the product. Okay. So that is uh, what today's lesson is about, analyzing cost, all right? And uh, we're going to do a quick reading about that. So let's go ahead. Let's go for it. Let's do it now. 
All right, first, uh, let's discuss some questions, all right? We'll work on uh, some questions today. First, um, let me share my screen with you. So look at this. Uh, this is today's objective. What is today's objective, uh, Camila? Can you read it? Ident identify specific details in a passages related, related uh, mm -hmm. of calculating cost of the product. All right. So yes, that's what we're doing. We are uh, we're identifying details in a passage. In there about uh, about uh, calculating cost. So we will uh, today we will we will learn a skill called scanning. Okay, and uh, this skill is very useful for reading for uh, for you to read for specific information. Okay, so I will show you how this works in just a minute. But before we before we do it uh, before we do that, we're going to we're going to uh, discuss some questions. So first, I'm gonna ask uh, Arabella to read the highlighted question. So please, Arabella, go ahead. Okay. Do you agree that regardless of the size of a business analysis, cost is essential to make profit profit profit. Right. profit profit okay uh all right good uh Arabella, do you understand do you understand what this question means um uh, only profit i don't you don't understand I don't, I don't understand. All right, yes. all right, good. Quick example, quick example. Let's imagine you have a you have a small store at home, and uh, you uh, you sell uh, you sell snacks. You sell chips, okay. like tortillitas, okay. right? You sell chips. Yes. Okay. You got these. Uh, you got these chips at. Uh, you bought this chip. Uh, these chips at. Let's say uh, uh, five cents each, but you sell them at fifteen cents. So the ten cents you get from from your sales are your profit. Do you understand now? Do you understand? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Let's imagine you sell, uh, well, let's imagine you sell, uh, all right, yeah, let's, let's imagine you, you sell carpets or, or, or computers from China. Okay, you pay, you pay $50 for the computers. Let's imagine, just a, a price, yes. $50. But you resell these computers ah, okay. at $100. So the extra $50 are yours, and that is your profit. Ah, okay. Como la ganancia. Yes, yes. That, oh my God. that is your profit. Okay. What okay, you thank from you. A, from, thank from a cell. All right, good. Uh, all right, next question, please. Uh, Omar, read it. It's here, it's highlighted here. Uh, okay. Have you ever calculated the price of the product? Mm -hmm. Have you ever calculated the price of a product? Good, next question. Uh, next question, uh, Camilla, can you read it please? Uh, Camila, can you read the next question, please? Yeah, sorry. sorry. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, can, you, can, can you name three success 
expansion to calculate the cost of the product. Mm -hmm. Well, let's discuss all of this together. Big all right. Six. Oh, okay. Te uh, you have any question, Omar? Pixie expand and what we need of oh, uh, uh, fixed expenses. Yeah. Uh huh. So you wonder? Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what meaning of fixed expenses? Uh huh. I don't know what the uh, meaning of. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. So fixed expenses are uh, costs that you pay all the time. For example, I have a small business in, uh, I have a small business, uh, let's say in, uh, in a small commercial center. Uh, let's name one in Plaza Centro or whatever. I have a small business there. So I pay rent. That is a fixed cost because um. every month, I have to pay rent. Got it? Uh, okay. So that is I got it. Cost. the expenses. Yeah, that is a fixed uh, fix ex expense because every month I have to pay rent. So I have to figure out my product, uh, my, uh, my product's price based on my, my fixed expenses. Mm -hmm. Permanently, yeah, yeah, I have to pay rent all the time. So I have to calculate mm, for my rent. Will it be okay for my rent if I do this? So that is it. That is it, guys. So let's, let's start answering these questions, all right? Let's start discussing this. First, uh, so... Uh, question number one, do you, uh, this one, what do you think about that one? Do you agree that regardless of the size, let's imagine you have a small, you have a big business and a small business. So do you think it's important to analyze how much my products will be? Let's imagine some of you have a, yeah, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Why is it important? Uh, it's important because uh, depend uh, depend on the pro the of the product that we may uh, we may of in the company uh, the volume of the product and um, what kind of uh, of what kind of the uh, of product we make for example. Um, any matching, a matching, uh, the cost is most, uh, is most expensive than, um, uh, for example, uh, um, comida, food, mm -hmm. or, hmm? Food, uh, uh, ropa, uh, clothes? Ropa. clothes, clothes, ropa, clothes, ropa, la ropa, lo, la comida y las máquinas clothes. no tendrán el mismo Machine. costo, cada uno va a tener un diferente costo, entonces creo que sí es mm, importante esa parte de, analiz de analizar los costos porque también hay que eh, los costos incluyen los fletes, el transporte, o sea, el transporte en sí, los otros gastos que, que ven que, que se van a ir agregando de producción, no sé. Uh -huh. Depende del volumen también, de producción, de venta. All right, yeah, you have some, some nice ideas. I, I, I... I understand you, you have great ideas there. You, you have a good point. So it all depends on the on, on your expenses, right? It depends on how much you spend. And as you said, clothes, you're not gonna sell the same everything at the same price. So it doesn't matter if uh, we have a small or a big business, 
we have to we have to analyze the cost of a product so we have to be careful all right good uh anybody else any other opinion about this please uh, me teacher yeah go ahead teacher. please all right uh let's begin with uh romulo and then iris all right go ahead uh it's important because uh i i love the the balance of your business mm -hmm. the income and 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 the profit and the profit right the profit right uh -huh. because uh if you don't analyze uh, your cost you you can broke broken or broke broke your you can business. Uh, go broke go broke mm -hmm. go broke your business uh-huh yes that is true you can have a you can get in trouble if you have uh if you are if uh you don't calculate right mm -hmm. if you don't calculate so everybody does it everybody you know uh thinks of their cost i mean thinks of their prices great like it um iris what's your opinion about this please uh, no, I, I have a question. Yes. Because I don't understand what's the meaning regardless. Oh, I don't regardless. know I, exactly uh, uh, what about the, the question is. All right. Good. Um, well, probably that's, uh, that's re that regardless is uh, similar to no matter or it doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter if your business is big or small. That's what uh, this is telling you, that it doesn't matter whether your business is big or small. You got it now? Okay, okay, I got it, thank you. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Well, uh, so <laughs> what's your opinion then? Uh, well, my opinion is, mm, it's uh, the most important, you know, and analyze your cost because uh, this is the center. You need to uh, have a profit your business. It doesn't matter the size of your business. Mm -hmm. You you find uh, how how um, financias profit, and yes. you just, uh, analyze the cost and know exactly uh what is your cost it's essential all right yeah i got your point so it's essential to know your costs right your so it doesn't matter if your business is big or small just imagine you this uh there is this little there is uh this uh um, this new ice cream guy you know he's selling ice cream and he says oh everybody sells their ice cream at 50 cents but he comes from farther. Let's imagine this person lives in lives in uh, in uh, lives in Soyapango, and he sells ice cream in uh, San Salvador. And he says, "Oh, everybody charges fifty cents." But what if his competitors come from San Salvador? So they don't they don't they don't spend any money on transportation because they live they live in San Salvador, right? So he has to calculate. All right, I can't. He has to go like I can't sell my ice cream at fifty cents because I come from Soyapango, so I have to spend uh, some money on transportation, right? So it, it can be the same. So I have to calculate how much I how much I spend in order to calculate my price. All right. Well, thanks for uh, for your uh, for your opinions, uh, guys. Next one. Next question. So uh, please read the next question, Iris, and have somebody answering. Okay. Um, have you ever uh, calculate the price? of a product okay and uh, who are you asking to romulo all right romulo have you ever calculated the product of a, uh, the price of a product
No, I haven't. You haven't? Okay, all right. Well, uh, Iris, ask somebody else, please. Um, Arabella. Arabella. Okay, great. Arabella, have you? Uh, yes, I, yes, I do. Uh, a little time, uh, right. uh, I sell mm -hmm. the t-shirt. You sell t-shirts, okay. I uh, just sell t-shirts. Then I calculate. All right, you calculated the price of a product. Regardless. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Yes, um, I am calculate same the profit. Ah, uh -huh, good. And uh, just curious, okay, just a little curious. How much what was the profit for each shirt? Mm, maybe uh, $2 or $10 depends uh, who, who in yourself, quantas vendi? Ah, how many? It depends on how many. Yeah, it depends and, how many sold. Ah, uh, okay, all right, but but that's good. That's good. So it depends on how many, but generally you get two dollars from each shirt, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that that's fine. That that's actually profit. Some people even get like cents, but you know they sell many of those uh, of those products, and those cents become dollars, and then they become ten dollars, and even a hundred. So if the business is good, you know it works. All right, cool. Hey, uh, anybody else has, has any of you guys ever calculated the price of a product? Anybody else? Anybody else? Yes, t-shirt. Uh, okay. I work okay. in in, in inventories, uh, available inventories, and and, and manage cost. But okay. uh, in many occasions, uh, several products, but uh, it's a it's variable for the cost depending on the way uh, it's managed. For example. And um, when those products uh, mm -hmm. are exported uh, another co uh, other countries, uh, you put se uh, el seguro, el seguro, los fletes, um, okay. ya, más los gastos de, 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 import de importación y de exportación. Um, and right. in, 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 in case of the product is uh, for destruction in another country, the cost is uh, only various, it's variable when, when, for example, la entidad que lo va a recibir este producto eh, tiene que asumir el, el, el costo o, o absorber el costo de la destrucción de ese producto si este producto de, wow. eh, de alimentaria es, es, es malo. Eh, también en, hay otros casos en el que el costo también varía a nivel de, eh, digamos, de procesos. En los procesos, por ejemplo, se, se, si hay es proceso de producción en la línea de producción, se le agregan estos costos de, en cuanto al material, al consumo de materiales. Eh, Raw material. Se vaya a hacer este sí, eh, ajá, eso. Wow. So it's not just like, oh yeah, I bought it at 10, I'm going to sell it at 15. You have to consider everything, right? Hay muchas opciones, sí, por las que puede variar un costo. I see, I see. Wow. Man, that is so much to consider. Yeah, great, great. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for sharing, Omar. Well, uh i i think i think we're gonna we're gonna ask uh somebody else uh anybody else uh Aries, how about you 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 own a small business too do you calculate the 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 price of your products yourself and what do you base your decisions on 
Oh yeah, uh, it's the first uh, thing uh, I I I do uh, okay. before to sell uh, one one product. I need to know how much I I look in for um, profit, All right. and I need to how uh, how many I need to invest. How much to the production? All and right. in the production, when we thinking about the cost, is like it says Omar is is different uh, things. For example, um, it's a, a service uh, include uh, there's the services telefonicos uh, right. in exactly the the raw material. You know because sometimes. Uh, the, in others' business, um, someone don't invest in these uh, gastos fijos or fixed expenses. Uh, yeah, it's here. Yeah, or it's here. Mm -hmm. mano de obra, maybe. Yeah. And guys, I need include all that because we process. We have that, a lot of process and changes the raw material, and oh. and I. Um, I, I need to think about it and include it in the cost. Okay, wow. So it's not easy, right? It's not that easy to... to yeah, it's not easy, but uh, for me, it's, it's a, a simple idea, general idea, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, how much do you want to earn and how much uh, is the unit invest uh, for uh, the they uh, realize that this product okay wow you know it, it, that's that's so so uh that's a lot of great information because it, it seems like you 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 calculate everything very carefully great yeah because we we um sells our uh, detail and we sell for um mayoreo too oh okay prices was different so in all right, so you sell in unit and bulk, unit yes. and bulk. All unit right, bulk. Yeah. yeah. So it, again, that's another important point. If you sell bulk, like uh, many pieces together, your cost is different. Yeah. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Wow! Great, great guys. Uh, let's see now. Uh, three fixed expenses three fixed ex expenses that you can have in a in a business we we said one already right i said rent is there any other fixed expense that you're gonna have let's put it this way let's put it this way all right uh let us uh, let's use a board and you guys help me all right god help help me god all right, good. Let's put, let's open a board here. Let me share a board. Fixed expenses. Mm -hmm. All right, so fixed expenses and we're gonna put here, Jesus, not a straight line, okay. One more time. All right, good, so we go here. And on the left, we have a small business. And on the right, we're going to have a, uh, a bigger business, a big business. All right. So in a small business, in a small business, what are your fixed expenses? Let's imagine. I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, teacher, I think in a small or a big uh, business, in the taxes, for example. Taxes is one. Yeah. If you're registered. Taxes are going to be there forever. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Great. Any other? Local uh, electricity. All right. Good. Good. So water. Rent. All right. So utilities, right? All right. Yeah. Utility, yes. Rent. And these are utilities. Rent. Uh, and we put here utilities. So that's, uh, you said, water bill, no. No. water bill, the electricity bill. All right. Electricity. Internet. 
bill, internet bill, La de and uh, what's the other? Uh -huh. Local. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be like the rent. The rent, okay. Uh -huh. rent. So these are the basic, right? You may have others. Again, Maybe a business, uh, business sell, no comes men, el que vende, el dependiente. Maybe work for, for Yeah, workforce, yeah, employees. Yes, good. Let's imagine, you don't run this, you don't, uh, you don't run, uh, you don't run no this business alone. Okay, yeah. So that's workforce, you know, one or two employees. Uh, and uh, raw materials, right? Let's put it here, just employees, because it can, it, it's, you know, it's small, right? So it can be one or two people, tops. Like it. So, well, this is, these are some of the things that we may spend our money on. Okay, great. Now, uh, let's see. Any in the how about the big business? How about in a in a in a big business? What can be some of the things we have to be careful? Do you think we spend money in all of these things? Yeah, the things and others too. All right, so we copy paste some in here. All right, so yeah, all of this, all costs of yeah. Maybe plus a uh, publicity. Marketing, yeah, marketing, yeah, marketing. Security, yeah, correct. Security. Transportation. Say again. Transportation. Transportation too, right? All right, good. Any other? Training, training of uh, of personnel, the people. Capacity. Yeah. Capacity. Workforce, right? What 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 you said, uh, Omar? Uh, uh, entrenamiento. Yeah, I, personal, no sé cómo se dice. Uh, that's professional development, como como desarrollo profesional, ¿verdad? Professional sí. development. Yeah, that's it. That that's very important too. Professional insurance can be. Say again. Insurance. Yeah, insurance, right? Insurance. So yeah, that's important too. That's important. Insurance. So all of these small things plus plus these bigger costs. So it's not easy, right? It's not easy, but once you handle it, it can be fun. That's it. That's the important thing. Once yeah, you know it's, it's yes? related to the size of the business. Is related the cost. Yeah, exactly. It, it, they are related. They are they are very uh, they are very important to each other. Good. All right. So we have all of these uh, things that we can we should worry about. We should care about. All right. Any other ideas? Uh, uh, any other ideas, guys? Um, I guess we're we're good with this. All right. Now. I'm gonna teach you this uh, little this little technique called scanning. All right, scanning is a reading technique we use for uh, for answering questions faster. Okay, look at this. All right, I'm gonna ask a question here. What are some uh, some uh, for example, what are some fixed expenses a small business has? So I go ahead and look for this. Uh -huh. I go ahead and look for this answer where here in the passage. Or here in my chart. So, oh, small business. Okay. What are some expenses a small business has? Please, everybody, tell me what are some 
uh, fixed expenses small business have? Answer the question, teacher. Yes, please. Uh, there are, or. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, good. There, there are uh, utilities like uh, water bill and electricity. Mm -hmm. Good. And Jonathan, look at look at John. What Jonathan is doing, he's pointing at the things. He's pointing at each and every element. So this is a fast reading technique and Romulo just did it too. All right, he, he goes like, small business. Immediately, you do what Jonathan is doing. You go to your left, okay? You go to your left because my question is about small businesses, small, bu small business. Has. So I go directly here. I don't waste my time here. I go straight. All right. So this is that's uh, that's the that's what the scanning technique is about. It's about uh, answering questions precisely and only for specific information. So you don't read everything. You only read this. So, for example, let's test, uh, let's, let's do another, another question. Let's uh, ask another question. Um, what are three examples of utilities? What are three examples of utilities? Please, anybody answer that question. Weather peel, electricity peel, internet peel. Mm -hmm. Good, good. So you go. Sample. Uh huh. Great, great. So you go straight here. You don't read here. You go straight here. Uh, it's logic, in a in a way, but it's it uh it's also an an easier way and faster way to read. Not for every detail, but look for keywords keywords specific words that's what matters keywords uh, como palabras clave okay so i look for these keywords and i go straight to where they are where my answer is all right I have a couple of texting here let's see what all right good it is this raw material over here so keywords are very very important i go straight to those uh to those keywords and find my answer so uh, in this in this case uh, in this time we are going to work together with uh, with a pair I mean with a with a small group and we're gonna do a reading we're gonna read this uh, this article and answer it and answer it as a group okay but remember to use the scanning technique and scanning is specific information uh maria what's scanning a specific information <laughs> all right good it's reading for specific information all right don't go around blah 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 from top to bottom no no vamos desde arriba hacia abajo top to bottom no just locate your information quickly, okay? So uh, that is that is how you should read. Okay, that's how you read. But then now let's go for the first step to scanning. And the first step to scanning is this. Read the questions first. You got it? You read the questions first because that's the way you know what to what to look for all right so if i go linear if i go linear if my reading goes like uh goes like this you know super linear like i start from the top if i start from the top and until the end i read the questions probably 
my scanning is not gonna work. So if I go like this, if I go like this, from uh, top to bottom, I may take, uh, let's say 30 seconds. I may take 30 seconds in here. But if I read the questions first, I may take less time. So you read the questions first, okay? Read the questions first. And after you read the questions, you read the passage. All right, that's a little life hack. Okay, little life hack over there, all right? So life hack number one is reading your questions first, okay? Life hack, es como un truco. A life hack is read questions first, all right? That's the first, that's the first, uh, first uh, step. And after you do that, then you, number two, second step is locate keywords, okay? Locate keywords. This is in the chat, guys. So read questions, locate keywords, and finally answer your questions, all right? So let's do it. Let's go ahead and, uh, and work in small groups on uh, this reading. Is gonna be, is gonna be in uh, in uh, in your WhatsApp group. Both the reading and the questions are gonna be over there. So I'm gonna send them. Uh, I'm gonna send it to you in in just a minute. Okay. Let me just uh, do this. Just give me a minute. I will add this uh, reading to your WhatsApp group. Just a second, guys. All right, good. There we go. Okay, there you go. That's uh, that's the article. This is also if you have your manual with you, which is the best the best uh, thing to do. That is on uh, that is on page uh, thirty two. But if you don't, uh, these questions will be in your in your WhatsApp group. All right, they all are now. Let's go ahead and uh, work in small groups. All right, that's good. Please accept the invitations. Can you read, Omar, the number one? Okay, mm, I boy. 
Um, here I go. Mm -hmm. What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? Number two. What are some examples of fixed costs? Number three. What are examples of variable costs? Number four. How does market demand affect the, pr the pricing of your product? And number five. What variables influence to determine the make the markup percentage. Aquí le puse en español. Dice, ¿cuáles son los factores más importantes considerar? Tengo la colera y que Ok. Entonces la marcamos ahí como número uno, ¿ah? ¿eh? O la escribimos. No, no, no. no lo podemos. Sí, lo podemos solo marcar. Sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. okay. 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 The second one is what are, for, what are some examples of fixed costs? Fixed costs. Fixed and variable costs determine the selling price, price of a business firm product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Uh -huh. Aha, an example of fixed cost. Um, variable costs include items that, that change, change. change with your sales vol volume, oh. like Business volume, volume. Mm -hmm. like labor and materials. Mm. Impressing your product first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Okay, this is number number two, no? Two. Yes. Yeah, you uh -huh. can use um, different colors too, so you don't miss it. I mean, if um, if you can use different colors, it'll be better too. Like yeah. one color for one, another color for two. I um, I think is um the the answer is number two in pricing your product first determine how much of your fixes and variable costs, right? Mm -hmm. I'll go check on the others. Okay. Demand both. Demand for your products is just an important to consider when citing a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or in or direct relationship between consumers' income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. I think the answer is in C, let's see. Yeah, the four. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? And yeah, is as price fall, demands rise, and as price rise, demand falls. The major problem is important it's in considering setting the price. Yeah. Uh, exactly, the, the, uh, it says uh, demand for, for the product is just an important to consider when the stating a, a price of the cost about the production. Yeah, yeah. you're right. I, 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 I agree with, with you. Okay. okay. Uh, Claudia, let's continue the paragraph, please. Okay, the term determining the markup of a product. 
regardless of the type of a small business markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price the markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit the type of the product or service you are selling Okay, I think ah uh, ah uh, No, because uh, the, the the second the second question is a uh, uh, Do you have another another uh, another answer? I I think uh, items that change with your but ah uh, uh, a ver, de, de, tenemos que hacer tres ejemplos. Uno, no, el... no, 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 no. So, so, the, the question is, uh, are some ah, fixed some, costs? Ah, yeah, 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 some, some. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Only, only great or identify uh -huh. one, one okay. fixed cost. Ajá, items of... The cost includes items of your office or manufacturing. Ah, manufacturing space. Ajá. This is one. This is one. An example. And two uh, items that change with your size volume, like labor or material. It's other. Okay, the answer for the one question is factors, the, the keywords, and the answer is the cost of production, market demand, and the desired markup. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. Okay. The second, the keywords is five, five costs, five costs. Fixed costs. Mm -hmm. Fixed costs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Fixed costs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Eden sock as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. For example, for well, example, cost. another example for me is Eden's the change with your size volume, like labor and material. Mm -hmm. Always in the second, second, sec, second question. Always the second, other example. Which? What? Labor materials. Labor material, uh -huh. Number three, right? Like, like labor and materials, okay. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? Uh, could you say me again, please? No, the second is rent. The answer to the second question is rent of your office. The demand is inverse. Es una relación inversa entre la demanda y el precio. Yes. The cost variable uh, is. Es más caro porque, no, es más barato cuando demandan más, ¿verdad? Por eso dice aquí, eh, la, 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 la ley, la demanda de ley es, es, al, ley de es una relación, eso. A la inversa. <risa> Ajá, es una relación inversa entre la demanda y el precio. Creería yo que esa sería, sí. ¿verdad? Que esa sería la número cuatro. El precio, demanda, el precio, entre la demanda y el precio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Price. 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 Ahí para que la, la marque eh, Jonathan. Fuxia. Yes. El ejemplo, el ejemplo. Uh -huh. el, 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 el
in this time is the uh, a mask, mask, mascarillas, ¿cómo se dice? Mascarillas, mask. 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 The prices of the mask. Eh, hace, ¿cómo es? Eh, hace dos meses, two months ago, two months ago. Uh, the prices of the mask is a uh, have a mask 30, 30 dollars so it's a uh, uh, the month seven dollars and now now it's a seven dollar because the demand is right now now i pay three dollars one mask then quarantine i pay a, Seven dollar, ten dollar. Yes, it was crazy. The, the new make of mask, the how say disposable. Disposable. Disposable mask. Uh, now the box of, of fifty units. The prices is uh, seven dollars. Um, Two months ago, is is at the thirty five dollars. Yeah, fifty five dollars. Yeah, it 50, was thirty five. Thirty five. Mm -hmm. Thirty five. Yeah. What yeah. a what a markup, Ma, markup. Oh. Um. Teacher. What determining? Uh, yeah, uh, no, number five. And um, what variables influence mark. to determine the mark, mark the markup? Up. All right, good. Look, the markup is uh, the increase of a price. So uh, you add this, uh, this uh, amount of money to the price based on your expenses. Like we were saying, right? Uh, we have mm -hmm. a we have a, a cost price, como el precio de costo, ¿verdad? Like, uh, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I bought these churritos at five cents. And uh, mm -hmm. what I add to, uh, to, to, to those five cents is my markup, too. Okay? Es como el incremento que le hice, based on my cost. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's same the period, period. Say again? Yeah, it's similar. It's, same. it's similar. Yeah, it's similar to profit, but in a in a different profit. Uh -huh. It's like uh, uh -huh. so that is the difference between the cost price and the selling price. Keep it. The difference between uh -huh. the cost price and the selling price. So let's imagine I bought this at 325. But I calculate my delivery price because I, I, I post them on Facebook Marketplace. I deliver, I deliver this to you. So I have to add the delivery. And now it's going to be $4 with the delivery. That is my, those at extra 75 cents are the markup. All right? Okay, all right. All right, good. All right. All right, thank you. Keep going, guys. Let's. Oopsie, I think we have to go back because I have to run attendance. So I'll tell everybody. Did you finish? <laughs> if you still need time, we, we just run attendance and you continue working. All right. Okay. All right. Good. Okay.
All right. Okay, guys. Uh, so we are we're going back. All right. We I just have to run attendance as I setting my message. Uh, I just have to run attendance, and it's uh, just because of that. All right. Don't worry about uh, about your work. You will pick it up later. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see. Is everybody back? Let's see. In six in sixteen seconds, it says in here. Yeah, let's wait. All right, good. So everybody's back. Please respond. Uh, respond present to your name. Okay, here we go. So Jose Enrique de la O Salazar. It's not present. Katia Maria Soriano de Santana no asiste. Gladys Aminda Galdames Merino no asiste. Ana Grisela Iglesias Hernández tampoco. Romulo Pompilio Romero Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Dorotea Sánchez Figueroa Acevedo. Present. Thank you. And uh, Claudia Evelyn Hernández. Present. Thank you. Maria Belén Quintanilla Barquero. Present. Thank you. Cesar Vladimir Romero Rugamas. Ah, uh, he doesn't come anymore. El ya no asiste. Omar Inmer Gámez Linares. Present. Thank you. Ana Lilian González de Peraza. Ah, uh, Ana Lilian pidió permiso. Muy bien. Shane uh, Deming Cabrera. Poco está presente. Uh, Arabella Parada Gámez. Arabella. Arabella Parada Gámez. Listo aquí. Got you. Thank okay. you. And uh, Mario Enrique Márquez Zelaya. Present. Thank you. Gloria Beatriz Elías Alegría Orellana. No, she does, she's not coming anymore. Elias Samuel Oriana Perez, tampoco. Adolfo Jonathan Rodriguez Parada. I'm here. Thank you. Aleida Elizabeth Juarez de Guevara. Oh, yeah, she's, she's not coming. She's at work. Andrea Elizabeth Siguenza Mejia. Andrea. Andrea is not here. All right. Camila Calles Minero. Present. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, big question. Did you finish your 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 assignment? Did you finish your reading? Or not yet? The group number one, Aravela's group, did you finish your reading? Yes, you did? Okay. <laughs> group number two, uh, Claudia's group, did you finish your reading? Yes, you yes. did. Okay. And uh, group number three, Camilla's group. Did you finish your reading? Yes, teacher. Camilla. Okay, yes. we all did. Awesome. That's great. <laughs> That's great. So it was right on time. All right, good. So, well, let's, let's review our answers. All right. So I'm going to read the, uh, I'm going to read the questions and, uh, and I will ask one person from each group to, give us the answer so number one goes like what are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product three important factors what are those ones the cost of production yes the market demand and the desired markup by the business Okay, and it's uh, the markup, all right. Good, those are the three. And you know what? What's important about this, uh, about this ones, or what's ma what makes our job easier is that they are in bold, right? Están como resaltado, ¿verdad? And we introduced this, y también lo introducimos aquí al principio del texto. There are three important factors. 
Number one, cost of production. Y el siguiente subtítulo, market demand. Next subtitle, determining uh, the market of a product. So that's it, right there. You can see it easily, you can easily spot it. Great, uh, next, uh, next question. Um, number two, read question number two. Maria, can you read uh, the question and the answer if you can as well? Okay, what are some examples of fixed costs? Okay, good. So ask uh, a classmate, please. What are some examples of a uh, fixed cost? Okay, let me see. Camila. <laughs> okay, so Camila, <laughs> please, examples of fixed cost. Okay, the answer is, uh, for example, then the iron stock of the uh, rent for your office or manufacturing space. Okay, good. Rent of your office or manufacturing space. All right, good, good. Like it, like it. Thank you, guys. Uh, look, I'm gonna share a screen. I'm gonna share a screen. Mm, but probably that's not a very wise idea now. But anyways, so that's that's one of those. The those are two fixed costs. All right, examples of it. All right, great. Now, uh, question number three. Question number three. Uh, Mario, can you read question number three? Okay. Question number three is, what are examples of a buyable cost? Uh, select the classmate, please. Jonathan. All right, Jonathan. So tell us what are the, uh, what are some examples, all right, of fixed cut, uh, sorry, of uh, variable costs. Okay, the, the examples of the uh, variable cost uh, is like a labor on material, uh, material growth or material costs. All right, so labor and labor, uh, uh, material costs. In materials, okay. Material. Labor in materials. Labor we refer in general to how much you know, how much work it takes, or we actually refer to personnel, right? That's what labor means in this case. All right, good. And the materials. All right, thank you. And that's it. That's in the text. You don't have to make it up. No se lo tienen que inventar. Ahí está. All right. Uh, good. Read question number four, Claudia, and uh, you ask somebody else, please. Question number four. Yes, please. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Okay, great, great. Uh, please uh, ask a classmate. To Shane. Oopsie, I... I'm afraid Shane wasn't in the reading. Uh -huh. Ask uh, ask somebody else, please. Okay, Arabella. All right. Good. Please. Arabella, tell us, uh, how does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Um, the market, yes, in this moment, please. Uh, is, uh, the demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and pay, price. As price for demand prices and as prices raise, demand fall. Good. And that is basic economy economics that's basic economics so as uh, as uh, demand uh, as demand uh, goes uh, goes up my prices can go low right and uh, as demand uh, I mean prices may fall if they if it's backwards so this is that's basic economics all right 
So inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, the demand rises. And as prices rise, the demand falls. Okay, that's basic economics. All right, so that's another important factor too, demand. All right, and uh, we will apply we'll apply these uh, these uh, these principles later as well. All right, good. Let's see. Uh, next question. I want Aries to read it and have a classmate answering. Okay. Uh, the question. This is the last question. Mm -hmm. Yes, number five. What but what variables in influence to determine determine determine, mm -hmm. yeah, determine. the markup percent percentage percentage? Everybody say percentage. Percentage. Yeah, percentage. Yes. So, what are the variables that uh, that uh, that affect on this, please? Yeah, the market percentage it's determined by the amount of your planet profit. Of your plant profit, all right. So it's determined based on the amount of your plant profit. So, uh, well, there are there are uh, there are three more variables. What are the others, please? It's not only that. There are more variables. Can you tell us about the other variables, please? The service, service, and the title of the product. The service are you selling and the title of the product. Okay, the type of the product. All right, and. Uh, and how rapidly the product sells. Yes, that's important too. What else? What else is important? Uh, the um, among of the service performed by the seller. All right, good. So those are very, very important, very key factors in there. So we, those are the ones that can can give us a higher or a lower markup. So don't forget them, they are important too. All right, all of these. Hey, uh, look guys, uh, we, we, we are going, we're going to continue working with this article and now we will work on vocabulary. Please, I'm, I'm going to display, I'm going to display the the article on the screen and if you can please tell me what are some words that you didn't know is there any new vocabulary in this article please let me know here it goes so is there any is there any new vocabulary in here or words that you don't know how to pronounce markup markup yeah, markup. And uh, so is it new vocabulary or you want to learn how to pronounce it? And, and both. Both. Okay, good. So uh, you say markup, markup. So the meaning of it, the meaning of it is this. Uh, a markup is the increase you you make based on your costs so for example i sell these uh sanitizer this hand sanitizer at uh four dollars but i bought it at 325 my markup is those extra 75 cents that probably come from my costs, transportation, or, or my, my fixed costs. So the markup is the, ex, is the increase you, you give to a product based on your expenses. You got it now? Or should I give, a, give you another example? 
Is it okay? Yes, please. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Sure, absolutely. So, uh, let's imagine I'm selling, I sell these color pencils. I sell these color pencils. Good. My cost price is, my cost price is a dollar. I bought this at a dollar, but I'm going to resell them at two dollars because I have to deduce transportation from here. I have to deduce uh, marketing from here because I market this on Facebook. So the markup is the difference between my cost price and my selling price. All right, that is the that is uh, that is markup. It's the difference. It's the difference between my cost price and selling price. All right. So that is that is markup, right? So my cost price. Do you remember what's my cost price? Do you remember what's my cost price for this color pen? One dollar. One dollar. And what's my selling price? Two. Two. Two dollar. And what's my markup? One dollar. One dollar. All right. So I have a markup of a of a of a hundred percent. All right, mm -hmm. so that is the markup. It's like the profit, but seen on a different perspective. Es como la ganancia, pero desde otro punto de vista. Okay? okay. Good. Any other word that probably was new and you would like to know more about it? Any other, any other uh, piece of vocabulary that you would like to review, please? Is any other? Uh, in, in the paragraph, mm -hmm. one sentence says, now you have to sell the product for at le least. At least, all least. right. Yeah, I, I don't know what's the meaning of least. Of at least, uh, probably at least is the minimum, all right? Okay. The least is the minimum. So probably the least I can I can sell this is at 125. The least I can sell this this set of color pencils is 125. The least. All right. Mm. At least. All right. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. All right. Any other piece of vocabulary you would like to review here? Any other? Please, 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 please. Yes, and the law of demand. What's the meaning of the law? The law. Okay, the, uh, the law of demand. Well, a law is uh, simple. A law is a rule, okay? Law. A law is a rule. And... Uh, in this case, uh, we're talking about the relationship in between uh, between uh, between uh, demand and prices. Okay, so law is a rule. For example, we have a traffic law. Those are the rules about traffic. All right, or uh, there there is international law that's the law about the relationships between countries or we also have a account, uh, accounting law what is that it's laws about accounting do you understand law now yes mm -hmm. and uh, do you have questions about demand about uh, about the law of uh, demand Nope. Is it all good? Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, any other, please? 
in the last paragraph, there are by the amount of your planet profit. What is the mean profit? Oh, all right. In the last paragraph. All right, let me check. Let me check on that one. Last paragraph. All right. Regardless of the profit. Mm -hmm. Huh. There. Yeah, this one. You mean plant profit or only profit? Only profit. Only, well, profit is uh, very similar to my markup. Very similar, though not the same. Profit is what I, my, uh, is my gains, all right? So again, I sell, I say, I sell my hand sanitizer at $4 and I originally bought it at three twenty-five. Okay, but from those, uh, from those uh, three, uh, from those uh, 75 cents of markup, I have to deduce uh, I have to deduce the the transportation and uh, whatever. After I deduce that, I get my profit. So, uh, so that is that is profit. So imagine this. I'm gonna put it on the board just to make it uh, make it more graphic. Give me a second. Let's use the board. Let's use the board. And uh, here I have my hand sanitizer. And it's uh, my, let me see, my cost, cost price is uh, 325. It's uh, 325. Uh, okay, good. But from here, I have fixed expenses. I have my fixed expenses or whatever I, I, I spend. So I have, uh, for example, transporta uh, transportation. I have transportation. I have uh, what? I have a uh, rent and uh, and uh, utilities and so on. Okay, and uh, I just make a we uh, a, a raw calculation for this, and uh, probably the the cost that I deduce from this is a uh, twenty five cents. All right, just put it in in simple words. It's twenty five cents. So uh, I. I uh, I uh, subtract this from the price from my uh, from my from my selling price from my selling price end which is four dollars right we have uh, we have said that four dollars and my profit for each bottle you know just just uh, imagine it is. 25 cents it's actually 50 cents all right it's 50 cents all right you got it now so i go i do this i subtract from my selling price my fixed expenses and what i get at the end is my profit you got it now mario yeah i got it uh -huh. All right. And uh, let's imagine, let's put it in a super simple way. Let's imagine there is a, this lady that sells pupusas on the corner. So she sells uh, every pupusa uh, or she sells them uh, uh, three for a dollar, right? Usually they, they have that price, three for a dollar. But this lady has to calculate materials she has to calculate uh labor she has to calculate uh transportation she has to calculate all of that so after she calculates all of that she can she can see how much she gets probably from that dollar she gets 50 cents in return or more sometimes the pupusa lady has more money than us <laughs> so it, that's important all right all right Good. Uh, any other question about uh, about uh, vocabulary? 
in the or pronunciation, please. Any other question? Any other question, guys? Well, well, that's uh, that's uh, that's fine. We will quickly look at some uh, some uh, extra vocabulary about uh, about uh, about process processing a product. Okay, that's important. That's uh, another important. Uh, important uh, part of, uh, of this, all right? And also we'll have a, a short practice about, uh, about calculating, about calculating the price of a, of a random product, of a product that you, you can, uh, that you have in mind, all right? So in small groups, we're gonna do that. We're gonna calculate the price of a new product. How are we gonna do it? Well, uh, you have to consider these three factors, all right? The cost of production. What is the other factor that we have to consider? Cost of production, what's the other? The material. Okay, the, uh, all right. What's the other? Variable. All right, there are three important factors to consider. We have the market. Market up, market up. Uh, the markup, market yeah, we have the markup. We also have demand, the demand. The market demand. The market demand. So you have to consider all of this in order to calculate the cost of your product. You know, the fixed costs, the market demand, and uh, also the markup that you will get. So this is a di quite a different business plan that, that, that we're doing now. So let's, let's go ahead and, and work, it out, uh, work it out together. So we apply all of these principles. And uh, I want you to make a very short presentation, probably on a Word document or in a PowerPoint, whatever, of a, of a, of a product that, uh, of yours, anything that you're reselling, not necessarily something that you do, that you make, that you manufacture. Probably it's something you resell, it's okay. But uh, I want you to calculate the price of it based on all of these things. All right. It doesn't have to be very exact, but at least I want to see that you apply these principles. Great. So let's work in small groups and uh, calculate the, uh, the price of our product based on these uh, three ideas. All right. Good. So please accept the invitation. Uh, we are going to work with uh, two more people. All right, here we go. Please go ahead and take the invitation. But what is the product? <laughs> um. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be uh, your, you know, something new. It doesn't matter. It can be something you're reselling, phones. It can be uh, probably weights or exercise machines. They are very popular now. And guess what? Now Mask. 
very expensive. Very, very mask. Mask. I, pro I uh, mask. That that's it. You, I mean, you do it however you want it. It does, and again, it doesn't have to be made for made by you, but it has to be. The, the teacher, the question calculate the cost. Huh? Yeah, that that's the, the task to calculate the cost. We have a question. Okay. Market, market, market demand, or uh huh. What, what does it mean? Market, uh, market demand. Uh, it refers to the law of demand, like uh, for example, for example, uh, your product you sell. Let's imagine you sell cigarettes, or let's imagine this lady sells mm -hmm. cigarettes. Mm -hmm. of a call center. She has a lot of demand because everybody mm -hmm. smokes in there, right? Uh, so so she what she has to do what she has to do is lower the price so so she she sells more uh -huh. okay? because she has a lot of demand everybody smokes and everybody buys five cigarette or two cigarettes a day but if she had a very low demand she'll probably have to sell them more expensive uh, I mean, at a higher price because uh, people don't smoke much. So she she has a she has a, you know she has to be more more careful and 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 uh, sell her product at a higher price. So that's okay. it. it. It's okay. something similar to what's happening in concerts too. Ahora como los conciertos van a tener menos gente, admiten menos mm -hmm. gente que tienen que hacer los artistas. Los tienen que poner Incrementar. Los más caros para mm, mm. ganarle, porque van Correct. a... Para compensar caros. esa parte. Exactly. That's, that's oh, okay. a good example of, a, of law, of the, of, the, of the law of demand. All right. Good. All right. I'll go check on the other group, guys. Oh, okay. I propose... Uh, thank you, teacher. I propose uh, the mask. Okay. I agree. Okay. Me too. <laughs> I think it sounds good. Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah. And then number one, up your variable cost. Number two, add a profit margin. And number three, don't forget about fixed cost. Fixed cost. Fixed, 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 cost is a difficult word for me. Fixed <laughs> word, fixed fix. word, fixed word. Fix okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, and, and there are three straightforward tips to calculating a sustainable price for product. Um, number one, e explain every every point t-shirt about uh, what i say mm -hmm. so yeah i mean that's what you have to do i, I don't get you what, what do you want me to do sorry eh, solo estamos colocando como los tres puntos principales mm -hmm. para el, right. los precios del producto verdad mm -hmm. es eso okay. nada más Yes. Yeah, that's it. Oh, so you have to calculate the, the price of your product based on this. So you make that little formula. Pone primero, uh, first the cost price, then your selling price. And then to your selling price, you deduce all of your costs and that. And that's it, right? And, and it's based on your demand and all of that. Yeah. So you have to calculate the price based on, on these three factors, in con base a, a esos tres factores, okay? Okay, hmm? okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Good. Good. thank you. Okay. Jonathan, I'm writing this three point on your chat, private chat, privately chat. Uh, you're private, yeah, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the cost, for the um, transportation and the material. 
-hmm. Okay. Um, okay, and the market demand. Um, I think is uh, up the price, right? Rising the price, yeah. Rising. Rise, rising. Mm -hmm. rising. Rising. Rising is um, when it's, uh, the cost is... is uh, goes um, up. Uh-huh. Goes rise up. It. Rising. Rising. Or, or you can say increasing too, mm -hmm. como incrementar, increasing. Right. Okay. Rises is new for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Okay. Uh, you need a presentation, teacher. <laughs> uh, short one. A short one. Just a, a very short one. Como una, solo una slide. Not necessarily a big one. Solo una, only one slide. It's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Good, Mary. Are you okay? You look a little tired. Yes. You are. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I imagine. But I'm here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's that's yes. what is important. So, do you yeah. always work out before class? Excuse do, me. Do you always work out before class? Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Every day. Mm -hmm. Good. Before Good. class. Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, um, yes. six, six p.m. Mm -hmm. Aerobics. Um. Running. Runner. No. 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 Runner. No. No. Um. Yeah. Um, strength. Strength. Yes. Uh, and. Um. Se me olvida cómo se dice cardio. 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 Yeah, cardio. It's the same. Oh, okay. <laughs> like aerobics, eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, and do, I do don't have, have a... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Do you have a computer, Camila? Right? No, I don't have a computer. <laughs> no, I don't have a computer. I don't have a tablet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess it's going to be Romulo's turn. Well, you can even do it on a piece of paper and take a picture and send it to me. Okay. <laughs> let me let me try to uh, make a, a presentation. <laughs> I try to show the let me share the screen. And it's a whiteboard. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, so so in that whiteboard, uh Will uh, be a, saved unless you text. take this. Eso no se va a guardar. Eso, o sea, eso se va, va a quedar. ¿Cómo decirle? Se pierde. Ajá, se no. pierde. Yeah, you lose that in the, unless you save it. Okay? Yeah. In a, a word? In a page? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Well, you can do really. it on a simple page. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Ramula. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. 
can you see? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Product. Mask. Mask. Mm -hmm. Mask. And the cost of production. The yes. Cost of production. Is, um... Good, good, like it. I'll go check on the other group. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then this part of teacher is is good. It's okay. We, it's okay. <laughs> I, I, we do. We do. What you're doing. <laughs> yeah, let's see. So we have production cost. It's uh, $3. Sales price is uh, $5 per unit. And uh, sale price times 12 is uh, $4. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh times uh, all right okay good yeah that's that's that is good so far now what are your fixed costs all right what are ah, your fixed mm. costs como lo gasto que le va a restar a su a su precio y para calcular el markup la la mm. el, y luego al final puede poner cuál es su ganancia verdad los fixed ah, okay. aquí hay que ponerle fixed costs fixed costs okay mm -hmm. Maybe uh, voy a ver. Is a transport, transportation, mm -hmm. or oh, delivery. Exactly, exactly. Good, good. Yeah, delivery. Then, entonces. ¿Cómo se es delivery? ¿Cómo se escribe? Delivery. Del that's okay. That's good. That's okay. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is. ¿Cuánto? Cent. Fifty cent. Fifty cent. Ajá. Y a eso, eso se lo vamos restando a nuestro. A nuestro, uh, al precio, al precio, al selling price, right? Selling price. Mm -hmm. Okay. Delivery. Uh, what more is? What else, you see? Mm -hmm. What else is? Um, mm. Only this. No, uh, like a, a bag or a paper. I don't know how we... How we sell the the the, the t-shirt in the in uh, the bag. wrapping the wrapping uh, <laughs> wrapping como el empaque verdad uh -huh. el empaque, uh -huh. wrapping uh -huh. con unos diez centavitos menos digamos uh -huh. yeah. oh. uh -huh. um, wrapping como escribes R A P P uh, no, it's 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 W W. Ah, uh, uh, oh, wrapping. Wrapping. All right, wrapping. Mm -hmm. Pero acuérdense cómo se pronuncia esa W con los labios. Wrapping. No se dice G como como gota. Okay. Se dice wrapping con los labios. Wrapping. Mm -hmm. Wrapping. Mm -hmm. Wrapping. Entonces es como así. Yeah. Wrapping. Okay. Double P. Double P. Double P, yes. Okay. Hopping. Yes. Okay. Maybe, maybe, um, ¿cómo se dice? La viñeta que lleva la, la camisa, because we. The tag. The, the tag. The, or, the, or label. Mm -hmm. Viñeta. Which one you mean? 
donde está la marca de nuestra camisa, because we Paper. just buy the, 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 the t-shirt, but without any, sin ah. marca. Ajá. Oh, so that, that's the label. Esa es la label. Ah, la label. etiqueta, ¿verdad? No uh -huh. es la price tag, sino que es la... No, no. No es la precio, label. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No es label. Ajá, como que digamos ustedes le ponen la marca. Oh, uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. <laughs> <laughs> it's not original. <laughs> this is the Bajemez. You know the, this, this brand? Which one? Bajemez. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> in, the, in, the down, in the downtown. Yeah, in downtown. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got that one. That's funny. <laughs> It just cost five dollars. So <laughs> yeah, so it, it's okay. Yeah, I understand. It can be free. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One thing. Uh, then it, my price in I know Mark Topper. Mark Top is yeah, Mark Top. Let's see. Two thirty nine. Sixty one cents. Ah, uh, less less five dollar. No, three. Ah, uh, three. Yes. Less, uh huh, sixty one. Two point thirty nine. My cost plus the part uh, of the just uh, a picture. Mm -hmm. Then is three six sixty one person better. Then less five dollar is one dollar point thirty nine. Thirty nine. No, because our markup is our uh, product or cost less the fixes. No. Yes, I know. No. Plus, plus because I pay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, all right. This is the markup. Uh, 50, 139. All right. Good. And uh, at the end, what's your profit? Our profit is... Uh, this is profit. Uh, no, wait. That's no. your markup only. The profit is what you get from that markup. Ah, okay. uh -huh. ahí, ahí solo son los, como digamos lo que le subió el precio. Ahora, to, de todo lo que le subió, le va a restar un poquito o le, le va a restar lo que queda de, de todos esos costos y eso va a ser su ganancia. Uh, uh -huh. uh, por eso estamos aquí que suma y que resta. Ajá, uh -huh. ya yeah. uh -huh. Ok, entonces el profit is the profit uh, not include a uh, fact fixes yeah it does it does in fact it, it's just it's part of it mm -hmm. uh, well and then says our, our profit is 139 and our markup is two dollars no. mm -hmm. All right, there you go. There you go. I think is is this. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, then the profit is uh, two dollars. No, markup is two dollars. Markup is two dollars, and the profit is what you get from that. Uh, and the uh, markup is. Without fixes. Mm -hmm. With all, all, it includes all of it. Includes all of it. 
So the markup es, digamos, calculando ya todos los costos. Ahora, después de que usted le calcula todos esos costos, lo que le queda, lo último que le queda, that's your profit. Mm -hmm. okay. That's it. ok. Very good. Then, only this. Yes. Ok, I... I share for um, some this. Okay, great, great. Okay. All right, good. I took a picture. Ah, me sé también. Okay, very good. I'm an accountant, but I'm confused. <laughs> How come? <laughs> no, this is not possible. No, because you're... in Spanish is different. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I, I see. I see. But yeah, I, I taught economics once. Uh, one, ooh, a long time ago, I taught economics, so I have, I have an idea too that I have to study. Mm -hmm. Aquí se puede pasar imagen, ¿verdad? Yeah, you can. I think. Yeah, as a file. Como archivo. Ah, ok. No. Hmm. Great, great guys. Uh, all right. I think we probably will do these presentations later. All right, good. I think we're going back in a minute. Okay, vamos a regresar a la, a la sala. All right. Good. Okay. Great. Let's go back. You guys, is everybody coming back? Everybody coming back? Right? Good. Bon appetit, Marie. All right, good. Good. Bon appetit. Yeah. Good. good. Yeah, that, that's French. Yeah, it sounds good. All right. Good guys. So, well, now uh, when everybody come comes back, we are going to present. We're going to present our uh, our uh, ideas about our calculator prize. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. So, well, somebody's sharing screen in here. So, I guess uh, you guys will be first. Before you do that, though, let me just run attendance for the for the people who were not here at the beginning. So uh, one more time, let's call Jose Enrique de la Osa de Sal, not present. Um, Ana Lilian Gonzalez de Peraza, no está presente. Shane Soar Deming Cabrera, Shane. Thank you. Y luego. Aleida Juárez de Guevara no está presente y Andrea Elizabeth Sigüenza Mejía tampoco está presente. Ok, muy bien. So, uh, you guys, now we are going to listen to your classmates. So, Romulo, you and your group can go ahead and uh, start. Hola, 
Okay. Please. <laughs> okay. Our problem is the mask. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the cost of product, 80 cents. The cost of production is 80 cents. All right. Good. Production, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. And, mm -hmm. and I'm ready. I'll continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. The selling price, $150. Dollars. All right, dollar fifty and, cents. All right, good. Mm -hmm. And markup seven cents of uh, seven cents. Seventy cents. Okay. Yeah. Eighty. Yeah. All right. Good. And the markup is based on your cost. Okay. That's good. Uh -huh. That's good. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's your only variable, which is fine. Now. Uh, what will be your what will be your profit from uh, from from this? Have um, you, have you mm -hmm. thought about the profit? Maybe the seventy cents. Is the seventy cents is our market and profit and profit as well. Mm, that can be. That can be. Yeah, in a way that can be. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. if. He, we we consider that the the, the selling price is uh, is cor is uh, acceptable for the yeah uh, because yeah. Uh, the demand uh, is 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 uh, the demand increase. Uh -huh. the demand is high. It's Good. High. Uh -huh. That's a that's an excellent point, Romulo. Great, great. Thank you. Let's hear another group. So I guess. Okay. Uh, I guess the next group is uh, Jonathan and Omar. So very quickly, let's uh, share our views, please. Okay. Um, okay. okay. Yeah, I share the, the screen. Uh, our product is toilet, toilet paper. Toilet paper, all right. Hoarding for toilet paper, all right. Tell very interesting it. in these days. Nowadays, mm -hmm. yeah, it's very demand. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, read, read, Jonathan, number one, please. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, you need to understand all the costs involved in getting each product out the door. Uh, where the sample list of cup you might incur on each product is a cost a good so uh, a product time a uh, packaging 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 uh, yeah packaging a uh, promotion material uh, shipping shipping yes affiliate commission um, all of this is a uh, total per product cost. Okay, and the, and what's your what's your uh, what's your cost price? Uh, fee for uh, fourteen that uh, twenty eight cents. All right, four dollars and twenty eight cents. Yes, fourteen dollars. $14. Wow, and how big is your is your is your is, are your rows or how how big are your packages of rows? Yeah. <laughs> uh, they they're very big. Like how many rows yeah. does every 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 package have? It's um uh tw 12, 12 rows. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's a very big one. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. The second point is uh, once you go a total number for your variable cost per product sold, it's time to build profit into your price. Uh, sample, our sample in the, the toilet paper is a uh, total per product cost at 14, uh, $14.28. Our, mer our market is uh, 35 percent in the sales all right 
good that's what i wanted to hear all right 35 percent. all right good all right guys uh i think we just have a, a couple of people left i mean one more group left and then we go so please uh very quickly last group i think it's claudia in arabella's group please if you guys uh have to go it's okay we'll just continue and listen to the last group please go ahead So, uh, Claudia in uh, Arabella's group, what is your product, please? Uh, Arabella has the... Okay, so she is uh, uh, presenting. Okay, uh, our product is the shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, the cost... Uh, is three dollars because it's reseller. Okay. Good. The sell sales price is five dollar for unit. Yes. And uh, sales price for twelve unit is four dollar. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. Selling in bulk. In <laughs> good. And um, when the sell is for unit, uh, uh, we pay del delivery is delivery. Say delivery. Delivery, mm -hmm. delivery is uh, fifteen cents, and um, warping is uh, ten cents, mm -hmm. and cost is one cent. Then the markup is two dollar, it and profit is one dollar thirty nine cents. All right, the profit you say one more time profit. profit, profit. Good. Profit. So at the end, look, it, it's it's a good profit and it has a very very established markup too. Well, wow, that's good. That's good. It, just imagine you sell many of these shirts. Like, for example, you sell a hundred a month. You have a hundred dollars. That's good. Yeah. I mean, more than a hundred dollars. Very good, guys. You know, it's interesting. So, this is how you start. How you start uh, calculating prices. Thank you for sharing your ideas. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will uh, practice vocabulary and uh, we'll also work on some exercises in the from the platform too so i will focus on uh, on uh, on uh, vocabulary tomorrow we'll review that and also questions the the two type of questions so stay tuned all right you'll have a good night 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 good night good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.